Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to show you how you can add a rating column to your list of libraries. Um, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So look, let's say you have a list of some sort. It could be a list of whatever you have, issues, contacts, maybe a suggestion list, you know, full of suggestions by employees. And you want some input from your employees. You want to see if they like or dislike maybe a certain item. So you can add a rating column and let me do that and let me show you what the capabilities are of that rating column. So here I have a list of issues on a project and maybe the more appropriate thing would be a list of suggestions, right? Comp, you know, employee suggestions, but let's stay with the issues log for now. And I already created all this different, you know, metadata on this list uh, to track issues, but one of the columns we can add is a rating column. So let me do just that. I'm going to click that uh, plus sign. And of course we get all of those different types of columns. Uh, one of them is called uh, average rating right here. And when you click create, it actually adds this additional column and it's a five star rating. So users can now um, navigate to each and every item and they can rate it anywhere between, you know, one star and five stars, just, I guess, the typical way you rate stuff on the internet. So, you know what, I'm going to uh, rate this as five stars and you can only rate once, all right? You can only rate once. So one user can only rate once. And uh, let me actually go to um, another screen here. I'm logged in as another user here, as Mary. And first of all, Mary will immediately see my, you know, rating in here, all right? So she will see that. Let me just increase it a little bit so you can see it better. Uh, Mary decides, you know what, this is actually a one star, all right? So she, you know, rated it as one star. Uh, but look what happens because it's an average rating. It pretty much took the average and uh, average is three stars. All right. And obviously as more people, you know, rated, you know, a certain way, uh, it will just keep taking the average. Look, I rated it as four. So, and the, you know, the, uh, as Mary, and then I um, rated it as five. So the average is four and a half. So, as more people rate, essentially, you will see the average rating appear on the screen. So again, let me just come back to this, refresh, and we'll see that average rating appear. So that's what this is all about. And again, you can pretty much rate on each row separately, and uh, it's not that complicated. Now, another cool thing about this rating column is that um, if you don't care about kind of the star ratings, right? you can actually switch it to likes column. So with that column, instead of, you know, users choosing one star or five star, um, they just can say whether they like it or not. So it's kind of, you know, yes or no kind of thing. So let me do that. And just like that, you see, it's, uh, you, know, you know, obviously zero likes, you know what? I like this one, I don't like this one, so I'm not going to, uh, choose this one, I like this one, this one. Oh, I changed my mind, I can dislike it now. So this is how it works. Uh, again, let me, you know, let me go to another user screen. And again, same thing, you see Mary uh, likes this one. So now we have two likes and, you know, she actually likes this one. So one like and, you know, so on. All right, so that's pretty much the idea behind this uh, column. Uh, let me show you a few more uh, things. I'm back on this uh, screen. So you can hide the column if you want, just all the typical, you know, column stuff. Uh, a, you know, um, you can rename it if you want, but, um, you know, if you want to delete it, there is no um, easy way to delete it, at least from this window. Hopefully it will be incorporated soon, but you really need to go behind the scenes. So let's go behind the scenes and uh, I'm going to, you know, show you where you can delete it from. So this is just a classic interface. Look at this. This is the column, you know, we don't want anymore. And you just click on it and uh, uh, essentially, um, you know, you delete it from here. All right, just like that. You can also add average rating column to a document library. So I just showed you 
uh, how to uh, add average rating to a list, a list of contacts, issues, you know, suggestions, etc. But you can also add it to the document library. That's where the you know documents reside. So uh, here it is. Let me add a column. You click add a column, and once again you choose average rating. Click create, and just like that, you see I can now rate documents. Uh, now let me show you something else that's uh, kind of interesting. So if you let's say here we go. I'm going to hide this column. Let's say, you know what, I added this column, I forgot about it, and now I'm trying to add uh, another average rating column. You will actually get uh, kind of an error message. So you can only have one type of this column. So if you can, you know, with other column types like text and choice and, uh, you, know, um, you know, manage metadata, you know, all of those other uh, column types, you can have as many as you want. With this one, it's only one. Hopefully, that makes sense. So, in case if it's um, um, you know giving you the error message, instead of trying to add it, just you know show and hide, and uh, just like that, you see I can once again display it, and it will be back uh, at the list of library level. So, just wanted to show you that in case if you encounter this uh, error message. All right. So, uh, look, I uh, find this. I mean, this is probably not the most frequently used type of column, but I did have a few use cases where, um, uh, for example, uh, there was a list of suggestions by different users. So maybe a list of, you know, various documents that users produced, and they wanted to, you know, maybe uh, rate them and so on. So there could be some unique use cases that might uh, prompt you to use this particular column type. All right. So that's all I wanted to show you in this. Um, you know, quick video. Hopefully, you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Goodbye.